In this video blog, I will be discussing multimedia and hypermedia and the relative advantage of using such technologies in the classroom. To make things easier to understand, let's begin with a couple of definitions. What is multimedia? Multimedia is simply multiple media, or a combination of media. It suggests a product whose purpose is to communicate information in multiple ways, and includes the use of photographs, sounds, videos, animation, and or other text items. What is hypermedia? Hypermedia means linked media, or interactive items. Elements are linked together by buttons and navigation menus. Simply stating, clicking on one item would take the user to another resource, which can be a different website, an image, and so on. Why should we use these technologies in the classroom? Roblin and Doring explain the benefits. It in, it's increasing student motivation, it offers flexible learning modes and tools, and it allows for the development of creative, critical thinking skills. Multimedia and hypermedia can include instructional software, reference materials, interactive or electronic storybooks, and more. In the classroom, hypermedia software can be integrated in a variety of ways. Some powerful and popular uses include using or creating online interactive storybooks with software such as Twine, creating Jeopardy games for review of content using PowerPoint, creating interactive persuasive presentations with HyperStudio, or recording podcasts and vodcasts of oral histories with PodProducer or any similar application. When you decide to create or assess students' hypermedia products, make sure you follow an effective design and media procedure. Roblier and Doring suggest that you follow six steps. Review existing products. See what others have already done. Get some ideas. Do your research. Find appropriate materials and data and analyze your findings. Create a storyboard to make your ideas, to make sure your ideas are organized and sequenced. Develop individual frames and segments and closely look into each part. When you are satisfied with your work, connect segments by adding links. And finally, test your product and let others use and give you feedback on your work. So the next time you design a lesson or a unit for your students, consider integrating technology in the forms of multimedia and hypermedia and make sure you do it right.